the biggest crowd in LFA history here in Recife, Brazil, and we are underway. LFA middleweight action. Fabio Aguiar with the red tape and Lucas Fernando, the blue tape. Aguiar, 18 professional victories. Fernando coming in with a very impressive seven and one record, guys. Exactly, Lucas Fernando has a very good Pedro Hizzo protege already started off with those devastating leg kicks. Fabio Aguiar immediately took him to the cage. Can't be taking those leg kicks too long, especially from a guy molded by Pedro Hizzo. Right. And the great Pedro Hizzo here, of course, tonight cornering several fighters. Great to catch up with him, Big Nog. He is such a, uh, as you are, just a wealth of knowledge when it comes to MMA. Pedro Hizzo, one of the best. Yeah, he came, he trains in a very good camp in the Pedro Hizzo. You know, her deep team, very tall. Lucas, I saw I saw this kid, you know, a couple months ago. He fought in LFA, you know. Second time I see I see him there, fighting down there, and he always impressed. Very good, good reach, but he this fight's gonna be a typical fight between a striker and a grappler. Yes. You know, his opponent is really tough in the you know, ground game and aggressive. The fans don't like the non-stop single leg takedown from Aguiar, but give Fernando some credit for fending it off. Like Big Knock said for, for Aguiar, this is his path to glory. He's a tall, he's a shorter fighter. He's got strong legs, wide stance. You know, the way for him to control this fight is either closing that distance on the cage or taking Fernando down. But as we can see, that's a tough mission because Lucas has very good takedown control. Of the cage. Absolutely, he does. Lucas Fernando made his LFA debut on the first ever event here in Brazil. Back to back wins inside the octagon. I guess we can say Lucas Fernando is a guy that's being molded by the LFA. He's, he was with us in his pro fights and 100%. And there, Fernando letting his hands go and trying to use that six inch reach advantage nasty low kicks of the calf. Yeah, those calf kicks like i said molded by pedro hizzo that's all you can expect with a big guy like that kicking your legs you can't take that for too long pedro hizzo calling out instructions to fernando wow did you hear that echo through here and he's dropped aguiar looking for the end as he takes He's still working to Aguiar back up on his feet. That's probably what Fernando wants. Tingo wow. dropped him. Wow. That Impressive. Is Whoa. Whoa. This game. Lucas Whoa. Fernando, fourth career knockout coming in the first round. What a way to finish. Leg kicks. Leg Rat kicks kicks. after leg kicks. Perfect Pedro Hizzo protege. I, I mean, big knock. You, you, if you look at Pedro Hizzo's strategy and game plan, it probably started with that leg kicks and then strike and fire away. Good one, low, right in the place, but he found his distance, his straight punch. Reminds me, Pedro Hizzo's straight punch, you know, right there. He did a, he did good takedown defense, you know, the way he hooked the hooks, go inside, you know, body to body. Amazing, impressed me every time. Oh, th that Started was the first one. Started that going. one. Head kick, got him rocked, and then Fernando pounced like he was. I love this. Why can't take his back? You're the striker, let him up and finish the job, and that's exactly what he did. Dude, the crazy thing is, Pedro Hizzo fighters are known for their kicks. You know when somebody does something well, when you expect that from him and he still gets you, you still get caught by that. He worked, the, he worked the calf kick, yes. then he came up with the switch kick on the head. Perfect strategy. Executed brilliantly. Lucas Fernando now improves to 3-0 and oh inside the LFA Octagon. And I believe, boys, he just put the middleweight division on high notice. Eighth career win. Let's get the official word back inside to Tiago Pamplona. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee 
Fernando Portela has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes and 55 seconds of round number one, declaring the winner by knockout, Lucas Fernando! Fans here in Recife are enjoying it. A sold out crowd, over 9,000. This is the biggest event in Legacy Fighting Alliance history. Cannot wait for this main card. If you do not have UFC Fight Pass, this is the time to get to UFCFightPass.com. Sign up because we've got two world championship title fights plus the first round of a four-man featherweight tournament. Get to UFC Fight Pass, sign up, because this card is insane. We're gonna have a lot of fun tonight, aren't we, guys? Yeah, we will. Watch just what this